Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here. Welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Tales of Zestiria on the Sony PlayStation 4. Remember, I'm still ill because I film my episodes in bulk, so if you hear a minor click, that's me turning off my microphone to have a bit of a cough and then a click to come back on with commentary. Anyway, on the last episode, loads of stuff happened. It was super, super sad. Dazzle. Dezel died. He sacrificed himself, but he did redeem himself for what he did to Rose. And uh, yeah, I was super sad about that. Anyway, we've now got to go around and talk to everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first or go to all the stars anyway and see what happens. Actually, let's explore the city a bit longer. We want to talk to everyone first, you see. Dezel's death, his shameful acts, and the things Simone said. Perhaps they're all things the Shepherd has to accept in order to quell the Lord of Calamity. I'm just not sure how to feel about it all. I was thinking you should quit. What? Just hear me out. I used to think that when the Shepherd was getting crushed and overwhelmed by his duty or by his destiny, that it was something that you could just up and quit. Until yesterday, that is. Things are different now. For Dezel's sake, if nothing else, I want to find the answers. Yeah. That's right. It isn't even some feeling of obligation so much as... I just want to know, in the hope that we won't make the same mistakes again. So that's why I no longer think you should quit. We definitely have to find some answers. Right. And it isn't just the Shepherd's duty either. This journey is something we, all of us, need to own. That's true. Thank you. There's no need for thanks. I just said how I truly feel. I was a bit worried for a second there. I was like, no way, Mick Leo's telling us to quit. She said she was burdened with sins. Right. And she also said that the Shepherd must know the truth of Seraphim, who carries such sorrowful burdens. Of those whose mere existence means human suffering. Sometimes death can be a release. If just by living, one causes terrible things to happen, then death would be... Edna! Stop right there! I'm not talking about Dazzle, you idiot. You shouldn't be saying that about your brother, either. So what if I did? They're just words. It's probably nothing you haven't heard before, anyway. I still don't like it. I don't want to hear it right now. Oh. Then there's <laughs> nothing to discuss. Yeah. Saray. All I was really trying to say... Is that I think Dazzle was saved in a way. I chose my words poorly, and it was wrong of me. I apologize. And Thank she's you, definitely Edna. sincere about that. Edna apologizing is very Edna. rare. Making paper crafts like this really takes the edge off for me. I forget about all my cares, and it's like I just enter my own little world. 
I, I can't do anything like that. Saray, you've got to stop carrying the burden all by yourself. I think this one's gonna be tough, even if I share the burden. I find myself wondering, was there anything else I could have done? Should we have talked it over first? I just start thinking about things. Moments of reflection are good for the spirit, Saray. But regrets solve nothing. What's this? Humans have a custom. Sometimes they send a paper boat down a river imbued with a remembrance of their lost one, so that it may reach them. Since Dezel was a wind seraph, I thought maybe a bird that soars through the air would be more fitting. Aww. Now, Saray, let's send it off. Hmm. I'm sure it reached him. Lila. Yes? Thank you. But you mustn't try to carry the burden all by yourself either. I'll be quite fine. There's no need to worry. I'm going to stay up here for a while. The wind feels comforting. All right, then. I'll leave you to it. Okay. I, too, have a ways to go. Right, so there's actually two more stars. got to be in here, hasn't it? Morning, Saray. Did you sleep well? Yeah. You don't look like it. Yo, Saray. Oh, Zavid. You're still here. Ouch. Lila, is he always this cold? Well, Wearing Dazzle's like hat? Here. Care to explain why you wish to enter the Sublord Pact? No problemo. My goal is directly connected to the Shepherd's journey. Your goal? Oh yeah, you said there were people you had to settle the score with. Right, one of them being little Miss Edna's older brother. And the other? Now tell us. Now tell us of the five lords? The entire Glenwood continent is supposed to be under his protection, right? Except our baby boy toddled off somewhere, and right at that exact time, the Lord of Calamity shows up. Isn't that funny? It can't be. I didn't think it could be either, at first. But if Maltellus really did become a Hellion and bind with Heldolf... We'll need to confirm that's what happened. And the only way to do that is to approach him directly. Oh. Maybe. But we need to be able to stand against Heldolf's domain. Or we're sunk. And that's where I come in. If you'll let me fill the Dezel-shaped hole in your group, together we should be strong enough. How about it? It's in all our best interests, right? What do you believe we should do? Saray. We need him. No. Uh, what were we talking about? There's again? no getting around of it. You know, we hey, need him. Can I have the floor? Huh? Hey! I thought you had good to do in the world. Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe. That's what he said. Oh, and he asked me to kick your ass a little too while I was at it. 
And then I... I told him... I do my best out there. And so that's why... That's why I'm damn well gonna do my best out there. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Look away, it's making me well up. The tears are coming. Rose. He was really, really glad he got to travel with all of you. And I... I didn't even notice. But in the end, he was smiling. If only I talked with him more. <laughs> oh, forget it. I'm done. Thank you for delivering his message to us. He was a kind watchdog up until the very end. I'll say. Guess you'll be okay from now on, huh, Rose? I'm okay. Are you okay? <laughs> And she bounces right back. Let's go. Unfortunately, there's no real time to grieve, is there? Alrighty. So, now what do we do? Just as planned. We're heading to Glavend Basin. Since it's the place where we first met Heldolf. Glavend Basin, huh? Here we go. Well, we can just uh, fast travel, can't we? So if we go back up to the inn... First of all, let's have a rest, because there might be a skit. Remember, we're getting up early again tomorrow. Let's rest up. Ugh, give me a break. Ain't you having fun? It's a royal pain. I haven't gotten out in a few hundred years. Whoa, a few hundred years? So, you were at Rayfalk that whole entire time? Yeah, waiting for my brother to return. Didn't you guys live together? My brother's adventure crazy. Like a certain someone I know. <laughs> He's always been traveling around. He always treated me like a kid and left me behind. He'd at least try to make it up to me by bringing back souvenirs. What sort of things would he bring you? Oh, you know, some old artifact type of stuff he found in the ruins. A cutesy sort of ribbon, weird charms, stuff like that. I warned him not to, but, you know. Hey, sounds pretty nice. So you'd think so too, huh? I see. Was your brother like Saray? Maybe. But it's all in the past now. Not quite. Hmm. <laughs> You said you'd fill in for Dezel, right? A man never goes back on his word. Well, unless it's with the ladies. But can you? <laughs> oh, 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 you doubt me, huh? Come on, you've seen what I can do. <sighs> yeah, but only because you practically forced it on us. I said I was sorry. Jeez. We get how strong you are, but what about the spiritual power of wind? You don't have to go back and get it? Not to worry. The shepherd takes those spiritual powers into his being. So there's nothing to worry about. Especially not with an able and handsome wind serif like me. <laughs> Alright then. I won't let you down. I'll see to it you don't. I'm a little surprised. You're quite knowledgeable about spiritual powers and shepherds. <laughs> well, I am a well-experienced grown-ass man after all. You know you can always count on me. <laughs> Somehow I'm not so sure that I can. <laughs> I know this is real sudden, but there's something I want to ask y'all so I can fit in a little better. Tell me your weaknesses. Why did I <laughs> tell you something like that? Hey now, that's cold, Mick boy. I'll tell you mine to make it fair. On days when the temperature is low, I get cold. Yeah, because you don't want So do we clothes. all? Oh, I see how it is. You want something juicier? Let me tell you something. If a girl starts crying, there's nothing I won't do for her. Didn't need to know that <laughs> <laughs> you guys are tough customers. All right, try this one on for size. I'm strong against earth, but weak against fire. We knew that. That's no good either. Well, then here's a juicy tidbit that'll rock your world. As far as I can tell, 
from the waist up, Lila is. This isn't even about weaknesses anymore. <laughs> Looks like you're fitting in just fine, I'd say. <laughs> oh, he's awesome. Hey, Zavid, I want to ask you about something you mentioned. Oh, hmm. Is this your response to my love confession? Don't try and weasel your way out of this. You said there was something you had to settle with my brother. That's all there is to it, really. There's just something between us we need to settle. And that something is? I told him, please let me marry your little sister, and he punched me. Don't lie. Oh, come on, he'd totally do something like that. Fine, don't tell me then. <laughs> it's not going to be something <laughs> serious, I don't think. Time. So what's this really about? Did Edna's brother ask a favor from you or something like that? Hmm? Who wants to know? Does it have something to do with the oath? Nah, it's not that big of a deal. But even so, a promise between men is just as sacred. Loads of skits. It all might be too much for mere humans to bear. I shouldn't have taken them along. Oh, it's so useless to say that now. They could have stayed home in their rooms if they didn't want to deal with it. They went out of their own accord. Yeah, and I don't think either of them expect or want anyone to take responsibility for their being dragged into this. Both of them seem so used to living with the Seraphim. Wonder if they were always like this. Saray and I were raised together ever since we were just babies. There was a time when you were a baby? That's rude. My bad, <laughs> my bad. I'm sure you were a sweet, well-behaved little guy back in your day. Too bad I'm not like that anymore, huh? You know, there's something I've been wondering. Yeah, what? You're an Earth Seraph, right? So why do you use an umbrella for a weapon? Isn't that more like a water element? I guess I can tell you. Ready to have your mind blown? I'm using it precisely because I'm an Earth Seraph. Huh? You know about the dominant relationships among the elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind, right? Earth is stronger than water. Meaning that especially when using seraphic arts, you can increase your mana output by using the subordinate element as a catalyst. What? Just to let you know, Lila has been using wind-imbued paper, and Dezel's pendulum has been using earth and minerals as their catalysts. The staff that you've been using is fundamentally an earth element. You'd have to be a complete idiot for using something like that as a water seraph. Is what I'd like to say. But I'll hold back. Ha! <laughs> you said it already! Well, if you've been using it as a way to train yourself, or a way to incorporate physical attacks on top of seraphic arts, then you're not doing it completely wrong, at least. The longer you live, the easier it is for you to choose to do what takes the least amount of effort. But if you really aren't satisfied and want to grow stronger, then you're just going to have to do things the hard way, if you want to go beyond whatever ability you were born with. Huh. Anyways, you've been using your staff without knowing what it's for. Good job, dummy. <sighs> well, at least she gave some advice as well. She wasn't totally horrible. Uh... making sure all the skits it's so cool we had loads of them then well that will be because Zivi joined the team so then now what do we do it looks like Heldolf wasn't in Glavend indeed were he near us, we'd surely have felt the strength of his domain. I guess we'll have to search somewhere else. But we'll need at least some clue as to where he is. Agreed. I hate wasting my time. Hiding such a large amount of malevolence shouldn't exactly be an easy task. Hmm. hmm. Malevolence, huh? I remember feeling an unusually strong level of malevolence before. When was that? Right after we fought earlier. It was when we were heading back to Pendrago from the Guinevere Shrine. 
So, maybe southwest of Pendrago? All right, let's check it out. You guys really gonna go on such a shot in the dark? Sounds like it's worth a look. We've got nothing to lose. If this ends up being a waste of time, I swear I'll stab you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> so, southwest of Pendrago, so we should be able to teleport close by. With the save point fast travel. the hellions well hell's bells not one to mince words now are you it's not the sort of thing you need to beat around the bush about fair enough plain and simple it's just my style you mean killing if i gotta there are some out there who can't be purified yeah there are hellions who can't go back to their original form but even so saray promised he'd find a way to bring them back with edna how shepherdly of him well, if he can't find a way, then he needs to take responsibility. As long as he does that, it's fine. Taking responsibility? To kill, you mean? No, not exactly. Meaning he needs to find his own answer. <gasps> that was pretty wise of me, right? <laughs> See, whereas um, Zavid's interesting because he'll be he'll be quite jokey and stuff, but there's also parts where he's quite serious and he'll come out with things that you should really take note of. You know, so he's interesting. Right, I'm going to go ahead and save this episode here guys and obviously on the next episode we'll head on over to where was it again i think she'll tell me won't she southwest of pendrago there we go so yeah we'll head over there on the next episode and try and fi find Haldalf. Haldalf? can't remember his name before i forget as well I've got these to do, which are skits, so I might do them soon, because there's quite a lot of them, so it might be a whole episode. Um, I mean, there we go, Dazzle. Dazzle's gone now, so I probably should have done that one before, so I might, I might actually do that on the next episode as like a little break. Just do all these skits in one go. So yeah. And then after that, we will continue. Because otherwise I'll forget about them. And then they won't be included in the walkthrough. <laughs> so don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share. And of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. All these things really do help me out as a YouTuber. And are much appreciated. As always guys, thank you for watching. And take it easy.